Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me when I say this. I don't give a damn what happens the rest of the season. Win, lose, or draw. I stand with Taylor Heineke. Do not put Carson Wentz back on that field. Whoa, did you see what Heineke did today? That was a team win. That was a team win. It had everybody nervous, but that was a team win. Did you see what Heineke did? That man didn't really practice with the ones throughout training camp. He certainly wasn't practicing with the starters throughout the season. Yet he came out there and he did what he needed to do. Did you see that touchdown pass to Terry McLaurin? Did you see it? Did you see that beautiful pass to McLaurin? That's something Carson Wentz is not doing. For some reason, Carson Wentz and Terry McLaurin are not connecting on the field. You know who has a connection with him? Heineke. That is what I want to see. I'm telling you, for the love of God, do not put Carson Wentz out there for the rest of the season. In my opinion, you got two options, okay? You got two options. One, you play Heineke for the rest of the season. Two, if you feel Heineke is not the guy you want to get him out there, try the rookie quarterback Howell. I mean, Howell. Try Sam Howell. Let's see what he can bring to the table. Try the rookie. Throw him out there. See what he can do. I'd prefer that. Either Heineke or Howell. Do not put Carson Wentz back out there. Carson Wentz is a talented quarterback. He's got a very talented arm. He can make some amazing throws. And at times, he showcases that talent. But his intangibles have always been questionable, and I don't trust him. With the game on the line, he makes way too many mistakes. Did you see what Heineke did today? Game on the line. You're up by two. You can't afford, Aaron Rodgers on the sideline ready to get the football. You can't afford to give him the ball with too much time left on the clock. It's third down. What was it, third and seven? Third down. You have to pick up the first because we need to keep winding the clock. I was saying that as the play happened, you have to go to your best player. Carson Wentz has not been doing that. you got to go to your best player in Terry McLaurin. you got to give him an opportunity to make a play, and you got to trust him. Did you see that throw? That throw on third down with the pressure on him because he took a shot. I think he took a shot, but he put the ball on the money, gave this man Terry McLaurin a shot, and McLaurin did not disappoint. He made the catch inbounds and picked up the first down. And that's a big part in what allowed them to run the clock down to under, to under 30 seconds and just kick that ball back to them because there was a good chance they weren't going to get into field goal range. There was a good chance they weren't going to score a touchdown, but it was about killing as much time as possible and getting the ball back to Aaron Rodgers with basically no time left on the clock. If we don't make that play on third down, they probably get the ball back with, what, a minute 30, maybe more than that. That's plenty of time for Aaron to go down the field and, and score uh, a field goal to take the lead and, and win this game. Bro, it's not even funny, man. That throw, I don't care how y'all feel about it, but that throw from Taylor Heineke to Terry McLaurin, that was the best play of the season. That, that right there was the best play of the season. That is the definition of clutch. I, I couldn't believe it, man. I've been saying this for weeks now. Just put in Heineke. In Heineke, we trust. Heineke over Wentz. Because with the game on the line, Heineke's going to make plays that Wentz is not. I trust in Heineke's intangibles more than I trust in Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz is a more talented passer than Taylor Heineke. The talent is there, and he can showcase it. He's got incredible arm strength. His arm talent is there. He can throw it on a rope. Man, this guy is special throwing the football. We get that. That's what Carson Wentz is in terms of his arm. Now, he's way too inconsistent at times. His decision-making is very questionable, and he turns the ball over at key situations, but he is a talented individual. But those moments that I just mentioned, those specific things, those aspects is what scares me. I don't like this man's intangibles. But with Taylor Heineke, he's not as talented throwing the football. He doesn't have that incredible arm strength. But you know what? He's got nice intangibles. He's got nice intangibles, and I think that's what this team needs, man. This team can rally around Heineke. You're 3-4 and four in the season now. 
Who the hell knows what's going to happen? You're probably not going. We know you're not going to win the division most likely. But you could try to fight for a playoff spot. And even if you're not looking for that, you would at least look more adequate or more competitive with Heineke as your quarterback as opposed to Carson Wentz. That's just how I feel personally. I've been saying for weeks now, get Carson Wentz out of there and put in Heineke. Unfortunately, Carson Wentz got injured and Heineke got his opportunity. And he played well today. Yeah, he threw the pick six. I'm, not, I'm sorry, he threw the pick. He threw the pick, but um, after the interception, he had two touchdown passes, and he was balling. You know, he it was his first time playing in quite some time, so he had to get himself together. But I'm just saying, man, Heineke, he, Heineke's got to stay, bro. You got one or two options. You have to either roll with Heineke for the rest of the season, or you keep playing Heineke until you until you feel like you're at a certain point. Maybe if the season's already out of hand, you got no shot, then throw in Howell. Or if Heineke starts playing awful for a consistent amount of games, I would try to rookie and see what I can get from him. But I'm not putting Carson Wentz back out there. Unfortunately, even though I'm saying this, realistically, the moment Carson Wentz gets healthy and he's able to go out there and play, Washington's throwing him out there. You invested in this guy by trading for him. You're not just going to trade for this guy and then not play him. So Carson Wentz will eventually come back but it all depends on how they're going to look at that point. I feel that if you're actually competitive and you have a legitimate shot to make the playoffs, do not put Carson Wentz back out there. If Heineke's balling, let's say we get more games like this from the team and we actually manage to win and we're over 500, whether it's uh, one game over 500 or, or two games over 500 or whatever. If you're over 500 by the time Carson Wentz is healthy again, I'm not throwing Carson Wentz out there. I don't care what you got to say. Do not put Carson Wentz out there if somehow Heineke leads them to a, a, a record that's over 500. I'm not doing it. I'm not going to ruin that momentum. If we're under 500, I personally wouldn't put him out there. i try the rookie and see what he can bring. But we know the commanders will throw Carson Wentz back out there at some point. So it is unfortunate. Anyway, this is, uh, I just wanted to speak on this. I stand with Taylor Heineke. I believe in his intangibles more than I believe in Carson Wentz's intangibles. Um, that play was clutch. That throw, in that moment, pressure's coming. He gets hit as he's throwing the football, and he throws it perfectly and gives Terry McLaurin a chance to make that play. The Heineke, the Heineke to McLaurin connection is there. I don't see that connection with Wentz and, and, and McLaurin. But Heineke, the connection is there. And that was a hell of a play. That was a, that was a play of the game. That was probably the play of the season because in that moment to get that done, that was big. That was legitimately big and is the biggest factor in us winning that game today against the Green Bay Packers. But, um, yeah, uh, we'll see what happens next week. Um, we'll see what happens throughout the rest of the season. At some point, Carson Wentz will be back. And once Carson Wentz is back, they're going to play him. So, I mean, the, the time of Heineke uh, being the starter is, is only limited. Eventually, Carson Wentz will be back. And it, it, it'll be what it is. It is what it is at that point. It'll be whatever the situation is, okay? So, you know, you can't change it. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. I stand with Heineke. Heineke over Wentz, in my opinion. And, yeah, we'll just see what happens moving forward. If Heineke can really get them to a record over 500, I'm not throwing Carson Wentz back out there. I can't ruin the momentum. But, anyway, that's all I've got to say. And, yeah, I'm out of here, man. Peace.